Hey guys, my name is Zach, and today we're going to be checking out a cool hard drive docking station from Sabrin. So stick around and enjoy this video. Alright guys, before we get on with this review, let's go over a few specifications as well as everything that comes inside the box. This is a SATA 3 drive reader, but since this is over USB 3.0, you'll be limited to 5GB per second. Not too far off from the 6 you'd normally get, however. This can read both 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives, but is better fit for the larger of the two in my opinion. Finally, this supports drives up to 4 terabytes. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and go over everything inside the box. The first item we'll be looking at is the actual docking station. On top you'll find a power button, a power LED indicator which also doubles as a hard drive activity light, as well as a small door to put your drive into. On the right side of the device you'll find the USB 3.0 connection as well as the DC 12 volt power in. On the bottom, you'll find a small 80mm cooling fan to help rid of the hot air that is made from the hard drive. Also included inside the box is the USB 3.0 cable and the 12 volt power supply. Moving on, operating this is actually much like that of an SD card reader. Just slide the drive in and hit the power button. If you're using a brand new hard drive, don't forget to set up a new partition in the disk manager. So now that we've got our drive in, how will it actually perform? To test the read and write speeds, I used a program called Crystal Disk Mark V. If you care about its speeds, here you can see the sequential reads and writes from a 7200 RPM SATA 6 hard drive. If you don't understand the terms here like 4K, I'll post some links in the video description below to help you understand. Also, these speeds are in megabytes per second, not megabits, and the speeds were easily enough to transfer a big file, so no issues here. In conclusion, I really like the simplicity and ease of use from this product. I didn't have to install any drivers and setting up everything was a piece of cake. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you want to check this product out on Amazon. Please leave some feedback in the comment section about this video if you've got the time. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.